a very good evening uh, to you all uh, dear brothers uh, in christ uh, so we thank uh, our uh, almighty god and the lord and savior jesus christ uh, for giving uh, this uh, wonderful uh, opportunity uh, to uh, study his wonderful words uh, today also uh, so we thank uh, for uh, the wonderful truths uh, which god has revealed uh, and kept uh, in his uh, word of god so dear brethren today uh, we are going to study a uh, important and a very simple subject so that uh, subject is uh, about the gospel so what is the gospel so what is the meaning of the word gospel in the bible generally we see gospel means uh, everybody thinks that uh, after the birth of jesus uh, you see the gospel came that is the the good news <clears throat> the birth about the lord jesus christ so that is the gospel why because when the jesus was born uh, you see uh, the angels came and uh, uh, said uh, behold i bring you good tidings of great joy uh, which shall be to all people so uh, the good tidings the good news uh, for the, all the people is uh, the birth of uh, jesus christ that's what uh, uh, the words of this angel uh, signify here in luke uh, 2:10 so because of this is only you see dear brethren uh, many people uh, you see uh, have this concept that the gospel is about uh, jesus christ therefore if you see the first four gospels uh the first four books in the new testament which is written about our lord jesus christ you see it is actually called as uh, the gospel according to uh, matthew the gospel according to mark and the gospel according to luke because these uh, are uh, the gospels uh, the good news uh, which is written about jesus christ and uh, nowadays uh, you see we have uh, uh, separately Uh, the good news uh, the new testament uh, you see itself published uh, separately so that bible is called as good news bible are uh, called as the gospel and uh, given free of cost to everybody so that everybody can uh, understand uh. therefore what about the old testament uh? is there uh, no gospel in the old testament or uh, is the old testament not a gospel so what does the you see bible say was there no gospel before jesus christ dear brethren today we are going to see this very important topic now if i tell you this gospel was preached to abraham many many years before even jesus christ came would you believe it you see you would wonder how is it possible that a gospel was preached to abraham many many years before even jesus christ came but let us read galatians 3 8 and c Galatians three eight. Ah, uh, Nehemiah brother. Ah, uh, is it possible for you to read? Can you read? Is it okay? Oh, okay, sir. Okay. And the scripture for saying that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, "In this shall all nations be blessed." Very good, brother. See, preach the gospel unto Abraham. that in thee all the nations of the earth shall be blessed so preach the gospel so the gospel was preached to abraham are how is this gospel was preached to abraham and what is the meaning of this gospel we will be all wondering what is this gospel so what was actually preached to abraham to know this one we need to go to the old testament where abraham was promised a very important thing that is given to us in genesis 22 16 to 18 can uh, anybody read genesis 22 16 to 18 okay i think nehemia brother uh, you only have to read all the verses okay sir okay bandu bishno if you want by ma- sorry on, sir on minute but bishno if you would like to read any verses you can uh, just let me know you know uh i'm sorry the night time is okay. very difficult to read Okay, okay, not issues. Then name your brother will continue reading. Brother, continue, brother, please. 
and said, By myself have I sown, said the Lord, for because thou hast done, done this thing and has not withheld the son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply the seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and the seed shall possess the gate of his enemies, and in the seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Very good, brother. So, here, the same thing, uh, what God had spoken through Apostle Paul in New Testament is given here. Where God tells, uh, I have sworn upon myself uh, that uh, in thy seed all the nations of this earth uh, shall be blessed. So, here the gospel means what? All the nations of this world uh, shall be blessed through the seed of Abraham. Now, we have already seen the subject of seed. The seed is Jesus Christ. So, it doesn't say that all the people of uh, this earth, uh, only few will be saved out of all the people and rest of the people will be damned to hell. No, no, uh, God did not say that one. God took a oath upon himself. He promised upon himself. Now, imagine, did God tell a lie? No. Today we see so many people are dying in war. During the days of Abraham itself, you see, nobody was blessed. Not everybody was blessed. Today so many people are dying in various types of pandemic, various types of diseases. So, then did God tell a lie? No. Dear brother, there are two things which God cannot do. You must all be surprised. What brother? Everything is possible from God, no? Yes. But... Uh, the Bible clearly says there are two things which are impossible from God. Now what is that one? The one is that he can't tell a lie. Another thing is he can't break a promise. See, Psalms 89 chapter 34 and 35 brother. Psalms 89, 34 and 35 brother. Hmm. Nehemiah, please read. My convenient will I not break nor alter the thing that is gone out my out of my lips once have i shown by my holiness that i will not lie on to david very good brother see i will not break my covenant so i will not lie so these are the two things which god cannot do then if god has promised to abraham taking a oath upon himself but we see that none of these things are fulfilled then that means God has a plan. So, it will be definitely be fulfilled even though we don't see anything before I is now. Then we need to understand what is the plan of God. What is the plan which God has made so that he can bless everybody in this world. What is the plan? That plan is given in 1 Timothy 2, chapter 3 to 6. Please read with that. For, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come on to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself ransom for all, to be testified in due time. Aha, uh -huh. there is one, uh, huh? Now uh, what, uh, one God, uh, one mediator between man and God, Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself a ransom for all. God wants everybody to be saved. And for this purpose, Jesus was given a ransom for all. We have studied this subject about the ransom. You see, God wants all men to be saved. Now, this seems to be totally different than what we preach now. You see, many preachers, they preach now. Uh, first you come to the knowledge of truth, then you shall be saved. First accept Jesus as your savior, then you will be saved. But what does the Bible say? Bible says that God wants all men to be first saved. Then come to the understanding of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then come to the knowledge of truth. Now why does God say like this one? Because God knows that the entire mankind is doomed to destruction. Therefore, our ways are not God's ways. God's ways are not our ways. So, 
there is only one god and one mediator between uh, man and god that is man christ jesus therefore god has made this plan through our lord jesus christ and we see in the bible in john 4:42 that jesus is called as the world savior world savior means what the savior of the entire world not only just a few christians no but the entire world all the people of this world let it be any religion any belief anything everybody jesus christ has died on the cross for everybody therefore dear brethren so what does it signify you see when we see that god has made a plan to bless everybody but only now few people have come to christ and what about the rest of the mankind if god has made for plan for everybody then we can see that only few have come now the rest of the people have not come that means what that means god must be having a plan for them also so what is that one let us read first john 2 2 brother and first timothy 4 10 brother and he is the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only but also for the sins of the whole world ah see jesus uh, is a propitiation for our sins not only for our christians no what is it he sins for the whole world jesus died not only for christians but for the whole world now let us read first timothy 4:10 ganesh brother can you read first timothy 4:10 brother is it okay yes yes okay please yes sir for therefore we both labor and suffer reports because we trust in the living god who is the savior of all men especially of those that believe aha uh -huh. see for we labor and suffer reproach why because we trust in god who is the savior of all men especially of those believe that means if you believe now there is going to be a special yeah uh, salvation but uh, yet he is a savior for the entire mankind it seems uh, therefore this uh, verse is clearly it shows to us the true jesus everybody will be saved but uh, how two types uh, you see two types of people will be saved one is a heavenly salvation other is heavenly salvation specially christians will be saved if you believe in jesus now but what about the people who don't believe jesus now they also shall be saved that means this shows that there is two salvations uh, earthly and heavenly salvation remember huh? the promise which god made to abraham uh, recollect the subjects huh? i'll make the seed as a stars of the sky sand of the seashore so what does it mean it means heavenly salvation earthly salvation stars of the sky are heavenly salvation the sand of the seashore or the earthly salvation therefore in christ you see in abraham seed the whole world will be saved through two types of salvation heavenly and earthly okay now if two types of salvations are there how will they be saved saved from what today many are died and gone so how will be they be saved that means god must make a plan of resurrection to raise the dead to come back to life to make them to come back to life on this earth but uh, is there any verse to showing that uh, they will all come back to life on this earth yes see first corinthians 15 chapter 21 to 23 brother hmm. read brother ganesh brother read first corinthians chapter 15 21 to 23 correct 23 okay for si since by man come death by man come also the resurrection of the dead for as in adam all die even so in christ shall all be made alive but every man in his own order christ the first fruits afterward they that are christ at his coming aha uh -huh. see what does he say all in adam die so in christ all shall be made alive everybody will come back to life but not once for all not at a time 
every man in his own order what is order christ the first fruits the christians are the one who will be rejected first then what happened then the eh? they that are christ is coming the rest of the world will accept christ at his second coming they also will be you see resurrected so this is the resurrection there is the earthly resurrection heavenly resurrection also now let us read one more verse in first thessalonians 4 14 and 16 nehemiah brother can you read first thessalonians 4 chapter 14 and 16 Nehemiah brother you there I can read Okay Ganesh brother read 14 and 16 Okay hmm. for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so them also which live in Jesus will God bring with him Ah see for sleep in God... Jesus wait 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 brother Here it says sleep in Jesus correct now so Just underline sleep in Jesus. We'll see the meaning. Now read verse sixteen, brother. Ah, for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of arch archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The dead in Christ, in Christ, they shall rise first. So. Oh. there sleep in jesus here dead in christ so the two differences who will come first dead in christ the christians who are dead in christ but who will sleep in jesus the whole world they shall all be coming to life also so there is two resurrections not only one resurrection aha uh -huh. so these are the christians who are dead in christ first corinthians sorry colossians Third chapter, verse one and two, brother. Please. Colossian. Third chapter, verse one and two. Nehemiah, brother, you there? Can you read? I am searching, sir. Ah, uh, you can uh, read from the screen if it's possible for you. Down, Colossians, third chapter, one to three. One to three. Yeah. If if it then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth, for ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ, Christ in God. Ah, for your dead, uh, this is the dead uh, in Christ. Your life is in uh, with Christ uh, in God. So these are the Christians. For them also there is resurrection. But all the world who are sleeping in Jesus, waiting for His second coming, uh, they also will be resurrected. So that means there will be two types of resurrection: one for the earthly part, one for the heavenly part. So for the heavenly part, can we go in the same flesh and blood to heaven? No. because bible says the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of god first corinthians 15 50 so if you need to go to heaven we need a spiritual body that means those who go to the heavenly salvation will be resurrected in the spiritual body but what about the rest of mankind they will be resurrected in the earthly body there are two types of body two types of resurrection see first corinthians 15 40 and verse 44 Can anybody read? First Corinthians fifteen forty. Ah, Ganesh, please read. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. See, celestial means what? Ah, heavenly body. Ah, terrestrial means earthly body. There are two types of body. Now read verse forty four, brother. Ah, it is. Soon a natural body, it is raised as a spiritual body. Uh huh. There is a natural uh -huh. body and there is a spiritual body. Uh, see, the two types of bodies are there. I mean, two types of resurrection is also there. There, brother. And so, how will the heaven is salvation be spiritual body? How it will be? Example. 
we remember uh, saul apostle paul before he became paul he was saul <clears throat> on the way to damascus he saw jesus was brighter than sun at the midday he saw jesus and what happened to him his eyes was blinded so jesus is in that spiritual body so if we are faithful those who go to the heavenly salvation will be having the same type of body read first john 3 2 first john 3 2 uh, nehemiah brother can you read first john 3 2 beloved now are we the sons of god and it doth not 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 it or appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is ah we shall be like him we shall see him as he is but we don't exactly but it says we shall be like him now is he apostle paul saw him his eyes got blinded so bright that is the heavenly body dear brethren so the church the faithful people in this spiritual body only they will go and join the jesus christ in the air and rule with him on this earth for a thousand years how in the spiritual body from the spiritual body only from the heavenly part they will rule on this earth for a thousand years read revelation 20 verse 6 ganesh padar read brother revelation 20 verse 6 blessed and holy is the that pattern the first resurrection on so on so the second day had no power but they shall be priests of god and of christ and very shall good. reign with him a thousand years very good brother so they shall reign with him for a thousand years they shall be with him a thousand years means what thousand years the church will rule lord yes this is the heavenly ha uh, resurrection okay then what will be the resurrection for the whole world how shall be they be resurrected many people think that uh, jesus is going to come at the second coming he is going to sit on the throne hope on the books of life and do judgment uh, those who sinned uh, they shall be cast into hell lake of fire they shall be tormented uh, day and night forever and ever and those who did uh, good uh, works uh, you see they shall uh, go to heaven and uh, devdra and uh, these are all things which will considered in the future in the coming days uh, so judgment uh, doesn't mean that is going to be a 24 hour judgment because the bible says for our lord a day is a thousand years isn't it second peter 3:8 it tells now for our lord one day is thousand years and thousand years is one day so the judgment day means what uh, it is a period of 1000 years so 1000 years the whole world will be just okay so jesus when is going to return at the second coming the first thing is going to do is that he is going to bound satan for a period of 1000 years sir huh? why read revelation 20 verses 1 to and 3 brother revelation and 20 laid mm, hold, mm, mm. and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is devil and satan and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and sawed him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation of nation no more till the th- thousand years should be fulfilled and another that he must be loosed a little season uh uh-huh. see he bound him a thousand years why that he mean deceive the nations no more that means he is allowed now to deceive the people why because he is called as the god of this world chicken corinthians 4 4 so in this age if somebody overcomes this deception and yet believe in christ only they will go to ha huh? heavenly salvation but all the rest of people who are blind about the devil la he is going to return jesus is going to return second coming he is going to bound satan and all the people who are blinded by devil they shall come in the resurrection they shall come in the same flesh be on the same earth oh say you see they could not uh, understand the bible then but now they will understand the bible each and everything 
uh, properly. Why? Because Satan shall be bound. He is not allowed to de deceive the nations again. See, Isaiah 26, 9, sir. Isaiah 26, 9. Hmm. Nehemiah, brother, can you read Isaiah 26, 9? With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when the judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Uh -huh. The inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. When? When the judgments. And Jesus is going to come and judge this earth for a thousand years. There is going to be huh? righteousness. All the people will learn. You see righteousness. Sir. So, what will happen in a thousand years? Every dead person will come back to life. You see? Read John 5.28, Buddha. What did Jesus say? Huh? John 5.28. Marble. Hmm. Hmm. Read, Buddha. Marble not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth. Uh -huh. Marble not at this. Don't be surprised. The hour is coming. All that are in the graves shall come forth. That means everybody will be resurrected. All, not only Christians. Read Isaiah 26, 19 also. Isaiah 26, 19. Hmm. The dead men shall live together with my dead body. Shall they arise awake and sing yet that dwell in dust for the dew is as the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead. The earth shall cast out the dead. The dead men shall leave. So, who will come back in the resurrection? Everybody. So, how will they come back? Huh? And how they will be uh, in the resurrection? Huh? You can read, you can write it down. Isaiah 35, 10 is also there. Revelation 21, 4 is also there. Job 33rd chapter 24 to 25 is also there. But now let us read only Job 33, 24, to 25 with that. Read with that. Then he is gracious unto him and said, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. See? He is gracious unto him. I said, Deliver him from going down to the pit, the grave. Why? I have found a ransom. Jesus gave a ransom. So, because of Jesus, everybody shall be coming up from the grave. And if they come back, what does the verse say? 25. His flesh, his flesh shall be fresher than a child. And he shall return to the days of his youth. It seems. What is the meaning of this one? His flesh shall be fresher than a child. That means in the resurrection, you see, there shall be changes in the physical. And they shall return to the days of youth means what? Their age will run backwards. See, see then, now the age is running forward. 30, 40, 50, 60. But in the Christ kingdom, this age will run the reverse order. It will go from 60, 50, 40 and it will stop at 30 years. So that is the blessings you can see in this video. What will happen if the age runs backwards? You see? The old person will start looking younger. So, in the thousand years, when they are resurrected, they will come back in the same flesh. And as they show obedience to God, what will happen now? Instead of age getting increased, it will start decreasing. It will come and stop at the age of 30 years. Why 30 years? Because Adam, as a perfect man, was created at the age of 30 years. So, what will happen in the thousand years? You see, everybody will come back uh, you see, to reverse of their age. And how will their uh, skin be? What does it say? You shall be fresher than a child. You see, a small child, a small baby, if you touch it, how it is? The skin, so soft, no? so pleasant, so smooth. In a thousand years, everybody shall be like this only. So, you know, in a thousand years, what soap they will use, everybody? They will use only one soap. That is Johnson & Johnson, baby soap. Dear brethren, so this is uh, what will happen now. Uh, each and every mankind shall be blessed in thousand years. Now, you see, even after a lot of millions of dollars being spent, uh, 
How much is the world converted? Only 33% among this one. There are Hare Krishnas also. And uh, if you see, dear brethren, in the thousand years, uh, the Jesus is going to convert the entire world. How? First, he is going to bind Satan, give them the knowledge, and bring them to the knowledge of truth. Read Isaiah 29, 18, and 24, brother. Uh, Ganesh, brother, can you read? Uh, Isaiah 29, 18, and 24. Okay. In that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book, and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obs obscu obscurity, obscurity mm. and out of darkness. Uh -huh. In the day, in the thousand year day, shall the deaf hear the words of the who are the deaf? Huh? Those who had but could not hear. You see, they had the ears. They could not hear. When? Now. But in thousand years, they will all listen. Continue with the next. Huh? They also that hear in spirit shall come to understanding and they that uh, murmur shall learn doctrine. See? The eyes of the blind shall be opened. Who are the blind? Uh, those who have clean eyes, they can see everything. They can't see the Bible. They can't understand the Bible. They also who made mistake in understanding the Bible. No? They will also come to understanding it seems. They who murmur doctrine. Oh, yeah, they keep on arguing. No? Oh, how come Jesus is only the Savior? Huh? There are so many other gods. You see, those who murmur, those who argue, they will also come to understanding it seems. When? During the, you see, thousand year of Christ. Uh, okay. Now, how will the whole world uh, accept Christ? How will this, uh, you see, bringing everybody into Christ uh, work out? You see, read uh, Psalms 22, 27, brother. Nehemiah, brother, can you read? Uh. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn on to the Lord, and all the ki kind rates of the nations shall worship before thee. See, all the ends of the world shall remember and turn to God. We tell no, turn to God, turn to God, repent. See, the whole world will turn to God. Then how that world will be? How will it be? If everybody is turning to God, if everybody are uh, God's children, how beautiful that world will be, no? There is no need for us to go and tell to our neighbor at all to understand because everybody will be knowing it. Read Jeremiah 31, 34, brother. Jeremiah 31, 34. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their in, in, iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Aha, uh -huh. you see? Huh? How will God uh, give them the understanding? Open the Bibles, open their minds to them. It will be in such a way that the whole world will get converted, uh, converted to Christ and uh, no necessary for one man to go and teach other man it seems. Uh, everybody shall know the Lord. The, you see, from the greatest to the least, uh, you see why all the sins are forgiven. You see, uh, uh, not only conversion of man, it will also be the conversion of animals also. Read Isaiah 11 chapter 69. Isaiah 11, chapter 69. Uh. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, hmm. and the calf, and the young lion, and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the whole of the Apps and the wind child shall put his hand on the cock cock den. Cock cock den. Mm. This shall this shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Uh -huh. You see, what does it say? The wool shall dwell with the lamb which him say. Wolf will be together with the lamb. Wolf will eat the lamb now. But in his kingdom, the wolf will be with the lamb. Leopard shall lie down with a kid. Kid means what? Huh? A small calf. 
But now, if a leopard sees a calf, it will eat. You see, the lion shall eat strides him, sir. Can you ever imagine a lion eating vegetarian food? And that, that is what was there in the first world. Do you remember the three worlds class? When Adam, huh, before the flood, how was it? The whole world was vegetarian. All the animals were vegetarian. There was no quarrel or uh, fight between animals. This is going to be restored in Christ's kingdom. You see, therefore it says, they shall not hurt not destroy in all my holy mountain. You see, God's kingdom, everybody shall be blessed. The knowledge of the Lord shall fill the whole earth as the waters covers the sea. There is no place in the ocean, there is no water. You see, similarly, there will be no place without anybody understanding God. Everybody will understand God. This is going to be the conversion of the whole world along with animals also. Okay. But in thousand years, uh, will there be police station? Tell me, will there be police station? Huh? Ganesh brother, Nehemiah brother, Vishnu brother, when Christ is going to reel on this earth, do you think police station will be there? No. No. Not required. No. Because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Yes. Uh, when there is a lot of peace in this earth, why tension, why police station? <laughs> Now, police is required because thief is there. In the thousand years, when everybody is having surplus, there will be no thief at all, no police station also. What about war? Will there be war in his kingdom? No, no wars at all. The wars is completely stopped, it seems. Read, Nehemiah, brother, read. Uh, Isaiah 2 4. And he shall judge among the nations and shall revoke many people and they shall beat their swords into closets and their spears into pronin pronin books nation shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore See? neither shall they learn war anymore no war at all you see a nation shall not lift up a sword against the nation you see they shall beat the sword into closets is himself what is the meaning of this one now today Huh? There is so much of money spent on arms ammunition, you know. One scud missile cost more than 10 lakhs rupees. One jet fighter cost 650 crores. You see, today a larger portion of the fund is reserved for why at a military. But imagine in thousand years when all these funds are diverted for agriculture, how it will be? Dear brethren, they shall beat their sword into plowshares. That means the diverting of the funds from arms, ammunition and war to agriculture. Imagine we are living in, a, you see, this shortage of food. Imagine the entire money is dedicated only for agriculture. How it will be? It will be a beautiful place to live in. Then that is what is going to happen. Everybody resurrected people will get food. Food, should, food is required now for them. Supply is required now. Huh? Then how the whole world will eat the food? Huh? The whole world will be converted into a garden of Eden. You see, read Isaiah 35, 1 brother and Ezekiel 36, 35. Ganesh brother, you read one verse. Nehemiah brother, you read one verse. Isaiah 35, 1. Hmm. Okay. The wilderness and the solitude Solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. See, the desert shall rejoice, it seems. He shall blossom as a rose. Or a desert rose. How will the rose grow in desert? It will grow, it seems, in Christ's kingdom. Convert the land also. No, no, read, brother. Ezekiel 36, 35, brother. Name me, brother, read. And they shall say, this land that was... Desolate is become like the garden of Eden, and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. Uh -huh. The land that was desolate will become like garden of Eden. The whole world will be like garden of Eden. You see, then there won't be any war, neither any disputes. Today, you see, huh? Huh? what friction? China, huh? then India. War fiction, Russia, Ukraine, India, Pakistan, eh? Afghanistan, America, Mexico, everywhere you see. Quarrel, 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 quarrel. But what did Jesus say? 
Isaiah 2, for we read now, he shall judge among nations uh, and rebuke many people. He will be the judge. He will stop all these things. Okay. Now in thousand years, uh, what about the doctor? Will there be doctors in the Christ kingdom? No. No. Why? Because doctors are required only if there is any disease. But in Christ yes, kingdom, disease results will be taken off. There will be no sickness. Read Isaiah 33, 24, brother. Huh. And the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity. Ah, nobody will say, I am sick. All the sins will be forgiven. Imagine beautiful condition. We have so much of money we have spent. One heart attack means 7 lakhs rupees gone. What will the poor do? You see? Huh? One kidney failure means per year you require more than one and a half lakhs to survive. Dear brother, so much of pandemic, so much of disease, chikungunya, dengue, Ebola, Corona, H1N1, various new new forms of disease are coming. Dear brother, in Christ's kingdom, all this thing will be stopped. So, okay. Okay. If uh, all are resurrected, if uh, food is uh, available free for everybody, if there is no warfare, no police station, no thief, uh, all the animals will be, you see, eating vegetarian and they will all be roaming around the road, it seems. Then will there be space for everybody? Can everybody survive on this planet? Not only the people say it is overpopulated. Oh, what does the Bible say? They have the, end, the Bible says that if all the people come back in the resurrection, they will be placed. How? Let us calculate and see. Just a small thought. Just think it over. Okay? Now see, uh, now Bible says from Adam to second coming of Jesus is a period of 6,000 years. We will prove it to you in the coming class. Okay? Now, in this uh, uh, 6,000 years, there are actually four generations. Like for example, you see, four generations means 100 years. In 100 years, there are four generations. Four, what is the fourth generation? Uh, grandfather, uh, great grandfather, grandfather, uh, father, and son. This, this is the fourth generation that can be seen in 100 years. If you leave 100 years, then you can see the fourth generations also. Okay? That means for uh, one generation, there is a 25 years. Okay? So in 6,000 years, we need to see how many generations are there. So in 6,000 years, divided by 25 years, we will get you 240 generations. Now, in these 240 generations, how many people lived? Now, let us see the current population. See, the current generation population is 6 billion. So, for, for 240 generations, what would have been the population? It would be 1 lakh, uh, 1,440 billion. That is more than exaggeration. But, uh, you know, that uh, in the olden days and all generation was, uh, population was very less. So, if all these people come, 1,440 billion, will there be sufficient of space? Let's calculate also. See, in one square meter, uh, we have sufficient of place for four, four people to stand next to each other. As we stand in a bus now, when we travel, full jump pack, one meter, four people will aram say stand. Okay. Huh? For the whole world, if they are resurrected, for this 1,440 billion, you know, dear brethren, just uh, the place of Andhra Pradesh is sufficient to stand. Then to leave, so many places are there, dear brethren. You see, the Bible says that man is never overpopulated. The earth is never overpopulated. What did God bless to Adam? Read this first. Beautifully it's given. Genesis 128. What did God tell to Adam? Hmm. And God blesses and them. And God bless them. Sorry, okay. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and repel in his, the yeah. earth and subdue it and Good. have dominion over the fish of, of the sea. Mm. Good brother. Good. And See? All of all the air and over every living thing that moves Open the earth. Very good, very good. See, this verse, what does it say? It says, 
God blessed them and said unto them, Breed fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, multiply, replenish the earth. That means what? Full the earth, not overfill the earth. God did not say that, oh, you overpopulate the earth. So God knows what is the exact uh, population that is required. So what will happen? Uh? That exact population sufficient, uh, definitely God allow. So it's not overpopulated. So if you see the aspect of the calculation, each and every single person will get a single acre of land, not single uh, family. Each individual person will get one square acre of land. Now how will that... Uh, uh, area B, it will be like a Vishnu layout or it will be Ashish Nagar or it will be Ganesh Square or it will be Nehemiah Enclave. One on square acre for each and every individual who resulted on the earthly salvation, he will come in the same flesh. He will live along with his family in the same Martha and uh, Satan will be bound, his eyes will be opened, he will learn the Bible then. Is it given in the Bible that everybody will have such a big house? Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much, brother. Genesis, sorry, read Isaiah 35. Isaiah 35, uh, sorry, Isaiah 65, brother, 21 to 22. Read, brother, please. Ganesh, brother, read. Gen Isaiah 65, 21 to 22, brother. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant banners and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat for as days of the tree. Are the days of my people and mine elect shall long in, enjoy the work of their hands. Oh, they shall build houses and they shall inhabit. Not that they shall build and somebody come and inhabit. Now it's like, you know, somebody will build, somebody will come and uh, stay there. Everybody will stay in their own houses. They shall not build, another come and inhabit. No, they will be having villas. You see, beautiful, imagine this wonderful world will be converted to Christ means how this earth will be. It will be a beautiful paradise. Then God will make a grand party. What party, you know? Spiritual party. Now read how this uh, party will be. Isaiah 25, brother. 6 to 9, brother. Ganesh, brother, can you read? Isaiah 25, 6 to 9. Uh. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a list, a feast of the fat things, a feast of witness on the lies, of fat things full of marrow, and of winds on the leaves will uh, refine, and he will destroy in his mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that uh, is spread over all nations. He will swallow up dead in victory, and the Lord God will weep away tears of the uh, of uh, tears from of all faces and the rebuke of his people shall be taken away from all, all the earth. For the Lord hath spoken it and it shall be said in that in that day. Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Uh -huh. See? In this mountain, Daniel second chapter, the stone came and hit. It became to grow a big mountain. That mountain is called God's kingdom. In this God's kingdom, God shall make a very beautiful fair, huh? party, a feast of fat things, spiritual food. You see, he will destroy the, upon this mountain the face that is covering. Satan has blinded the mind of many eyes of many. This shall be covering, shall be destroyed. Death itself shall be swallowed. Everybody will be resurrected back on the same earth. They will come into the same flesh. You can see your grandpa, grandmother, ancient, great, great grandparents and all on the same earth. Eh? Then what will happen? They will listen to God's words. He shall wipe away every tear. You see, and everybody will tell, oh, this is the God which we were searching. This is the God who has made a wonderful plan. 
and everybody will accept Christ. Dear brethren, therefore, Christ is given a thousand year to rule. Why? Why, dear brethren? Because he wants all people to come back to perfection. To bring them from the fallen condition to the perfect condition, it will take a thousand years. They will return slowly. Huh? As they need to show obedience slowly, it will take time to leave out all their bad things and come to Christ. Therefore, what did Jesus taught us to pray? Huh? What was the Lord's prayer? Can anybody tell me? What's the Lord's prayer? Our Father? Hmm. What is the yeah. prayer with Jesus? Ah. Tell. Our Father in heaven. Ah. Mm. Correct. Hallowed be? They will be done. Ah, thy will, will be done. Be. Ah. Okay, read from the Bible, brother. Read Matthew 16, brother. Read huh? The kingdom come, they will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Ah, thy kingdom come. Where come? Come on this earth. If God's kingdom comes on this earth, then what will happen? Thy will be done in earth as it is done in heaven. This is going to happen in Christ's kingdom. Therefore, this earth is created for water. Not for destruction that everybody will be taken to hell or heaven. No. This earth is created for man to be inhabited here only. So man will stay here only. Only the faithful Christians will go to heavenly salvation. So there are two salvations. Earthly, heavenly. Okay. Earthly for the unbelievers who will believe Christ in thousand years. But heavenly is only for the Christians who believe now. Read Isaiah 45, 18, brother. Nehemiah, brother, read Isaiah 45, 18. You can read from the screen. For thus said the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it, he created it not in man, he formed it to be inhabited, I am the Lord and there is none else. God created the earth not in vain, not uselessly, not to be wasted. He formed it to be inhabited by man. So man will stay on this earth. Therefore Jesus said, Thy kingdom come on this earth. Not that we will all come to heaven. Huh? Therefore, what is the meaning of gospel? The gospel means the entire Bible, not only the New Testament, not only about the life of Jesus Christ. Then, why did the angel say that uh, we bring you good tidings of great joy, we shall be for all people? Because for all these things, blessings to be fulfilled, the birth of Jesus Christ and his death on the cross was very, very important. So therefore, dear brethren, this is what God preached to Abraham, the gospel, in thy seed, all the world shall be blessed, dear brethren. Therefore, gospel means what? Not only the New Testament, the entire Bible, that the whole world shall be blessed. This is the gospel, the good news. Okay. If anybody has any doubts, any questions, they can ask. Anybody, any questions? Vishnu, brother, any doubts, any questions? No, clear. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, praise the Lord for it. Ganesh brother, any doubts, any questions? Not at all. Thank you very much. Okay, Nehemiah brother, any doubts, any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, Jesus is a mediator or Jesus is God? Oh, Jesus is, uh, he says, no, uh, Jesus is God, but he is also the mediator between God and man. That's what the Bible says, no? What did Bible say? First Timothy, second, cha second chapter 3 to 6, is one God, and one meter between Jesus and God. You see? So, Jesus uh, is an interceder. He is a mediator. But yet, uh, he is a God. We are going to see all these things in the coming classes. But how, how this works out. How Jesus is assuming both the role. We will see all these things. Uh, okay, brother. In detail. But this is the short answer. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Nehemiah, brother. Okay, anybody? Any doubts? Any questions? Okay. Uh, Vishnu brother, can you offer a prayer? Is it uh, possible? Yes. 